All right, Ethan, I had a bit of an audio issue here for this video. So um, this is kind of where I was talking about trying to feel like you can keep your arms a little bit lower, um, a little bit more behind you. Notice how that left arm of yours is a little bit lower. I can see kind of your shoulder there. Um, we got into some spots in your swing where your arms kind of went really high and they were a little bit out of sequence with how you were turning your body. Because I think your body moves really good. Um, but when your arms go a little bit too high in the backswing and they get up above your shoulder line, I think that that's leading to some of the shots that start a little too far left and maybe the little, a few of the chunks. So I think that by focusing on what it is that we did here, focus on, focusing on um, getting that arm more around you, right? Your left arm works more around your chest rather than above your shoulders. I think that's a good way for us to think about this. Um, but just watch through this video a little bit. Um, see kind of the motions that I'm putting you through. You know, you can kind of imagine what it is that I'm saying here. Uh, but the audio kicks in a little bit later in this video. So this is where I got a little bit medieval on you. I tried to give you a feeling like, hey, if we tied you up, if I put your arms and your chest together so you can't move right there, that's kind of the feeling. That's kind of the idea I want you to have, that those stay snug together. And I think that if we can tackle that and we can get those pieces, your arms and your chest are going to work a little bit more together. And we're going to have better sequence through the shot, uh, not have the ball start so far to the left and maybe not have the ball, uh, the club hit the ground too early at times. Okay, so first thing we're doing, so the two shot, open up, give a squeeze. So like just short of popping it, take it up to the top, hold it there. Yeah, and I, yeah, so I'll start again. Okay, so squeeze this, turn this. Don't move your arms, turn this. That will let your arms move. But turn this, you can let them move. I want the balloon to stay in front of your stomach. In order for that to happen, you need to turn the stomach. Look at the ball. Okay, and let the balloon move. Keep going. Let the arms go up. Okay, keep squeezing. Turn, turn. Okay, in order for this to stay in front of here, you need to turn all of this. Okay, so you're not fat, but I always say just move your fat. Move all your fat stuff. One more time. Body turns the balloon. Try and feel like the balloon stays in front of you or in the front of you. Yeah, all the way up. Keep going, keep going. Breathe. Okay, that's the feeling right there. OK, 
Okay, back down, make a couple practice swings. Okay, hit one without the balloon flying away because one of us is gonna have to run. Hey, way to go. Another one? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go, okay. So, let me kind of show you what I mean by this. You see here? Uh, stand right there where my head shadow is. Okay, so I've got my balloon in here, meaning that this, my arms are doing the right thing. They're pushing together closely. Now, I don't want to feel like I'm moving the balloon without moving my stomach. That's where this thing starts to fly away. I want to feel like the balloon stays right there and I turn my back to the target and that's what's going to get my arms up, okay? And then from there, feel like I turn my back to the camera is going to let the balloon stay in my arms. But the second that the, I start moving the balloon like around my ribs, that's when your arm gets out of whack. Here, there, turn, okay? And when I get to the top here, that's when I feel like I've got the most elbow squeezing onto this thing. And then in the downswing, I'm trying to pop it. Your turn. Right. Squeeze it in there. Good. We got the rooster turned over. Turn your glove this way more. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So back and through, however, whatever speed you like. Good. And that's kind of what I want you to practice. Um, that's nine iron, right? Okay, stick with it. And I would say like, once you've hit half of that pile, so it's always nice to see the visual of what you're done. Everyone, you're done. Okay, so all of the balls over here with the balloon, and then we'll take it out. Only move at a pace that lets you keep the balloon in there. Okay. And every so often, feel free to tee them up. Sometimes it's a little easier working on something new when the ball's teed up. You're not worried about digging down at it or something. There we go. Good job. Really good. And let's hit them without it. like you set up like this, like you're standing up against a wall, okay, and it's just bend the knees and put your head down. That might be the way it feels, like your, your back is straight. It won't look that way. Well done. Good. Okay, so start this way. Stand tall, bend the knees, tilt the head down. That's it, perfect. Good job. That's awesome. Okay, so set up to it now. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah, I know it. Good. 
Okay, so take it to the top. Keep going up. Mm, about as far as you can go, huh? Okay, so this elbow is trying to pull itself around here. So set up again. Okay, so now take it up. Big turn of the stomach. Keep turning the stomach. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So it's pulling this guy down that way. Get this in front of here. Yeah, shoulder thing. Okay, now turn your shoulders more. Oh, backswing. Okay, better. Start again. Okay, now go up. Yeah. Okay, back down. Okay, go for it. Try not to pull on this rope. How do you turn without getting your elbow to pull on this rope? So turn your back to the, toward the target. Keep turning. Keep turning. Okay, see, I'm pulling it down to the ground now. Yeah. I want you to figure out what it is that you're using to pull on the rope and loosen it and let go. Give me, give me more slack to this rope. Yeah, you'll get it. It's just a feel. Tall knee bend. Yeah, there you go, good. Okay, so take it back about halfway and then stop. Okay, now turn your body up. Just turn, don't, don't, loosen up, loosen up, turn your body. Hold on, loosen up, loosen up, let me move you. Stop pulling on this. Okay, just turn your pivot, just turn your chest and your ribs. Good, that's the move. That's what's gonna keep this here. See how we're trying to keep the arm away from that chest. Start again. Okay, so take it back with your turn, not your arms, okay. Don't push into my hand. I want the. I want you to put the le least amount of force into my hand here. Turn your body. Look at the ball. Just turn your body. No, you're moving your arms. Turn your body. This part. Okay, turn. There. More of this. Less of that. Okay. So turn the body. Turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Look at the ball. Keep turning. Keep turning. That's what I want right there. See, watch me. Okay? See how my body turn out races my arms? You're doing the opposite. Okay? So put your hand on that side or on this side of me. Hold me right there. Okay, you ready? See how little force I'm putting into that? Okay. Right? You're going like that. Let this part control you. Uh, stand tall, knee bend. Yep. Yep. And make that start. Do the whole back swing just with that. Okay, one more time. Stand tall, knee bend. Okay, we're not going to hit this one. All right, so I'm going to leave this here. Don't kiss this grip. Okay, start turning into your backswing. Don't kiss this grip. Move away. Stand taller. There, again. Start down. Okay, same thing. Yeah, taller. More turn. There, 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 there. Good job. Really good. Okay, and let all your air out. Don't hold your breath as you do this.
job. Very good. Okay, so we got nice. Tall with the back, extra knee bend. Big part of the setup today. Trying to feel like your back is straight up and down as you bend the knees. And then from there, just push your head down. That's the feel that gets us looking right. Cool. Okay, one more time for me. Bend the knees first, then yeah, then go down to it. Okay, so take it up to the top, big turn, keep going up, all right? And then you wanna feel your arm stays underneath or inside this club on the downswing. That's it. Good. Well done. Okay, big dog time. That's it hard. Okay, so set up to this one. Okay, so stand tall. Tall, now get the club on the air. Okay, stand taller. Okay, now bend the knees. No, yeah, just, just bend the knees more. And now put the club down. Perfect. <laughs> Setup has a lot to do with your ball, with your accuracy at the moment. Okay. down. Good. There you go. So I want to do everything we can today not, not to have the ball start to the left of all those flags. Okay, another one. target line. We're going to leave this on the ground. Extend it on us. So now it goes a little farther. And we need to hit it there. Just to give you something to aim at. Yeah. Very good. One more time. Stand tall. Tall enough to lift the club in the air. Okay, bend your knees. Okay, what makes the, you have to make sure the club's up as you get a bunch of knee bend, then go down. Well done, starts right, curves left. That's your goal. got a five yard block or just a, a smallest draw. You're never going to lose a ball doing that. Pop 
Austria went back to the old one. We got standing tall, take our grip up like this, and with everything still up, I want you to feel like you bend your knees first, then club and head go down. But if you set up this way first, right, and then you've got this, you're setting yourself up in too much bend over your waist. And I want it to feel like your back here stays straight up and down for a sec. As you bend your knees, then you can kind of put your head down. that shot again so one thing I'd like you to practice as you go through this like be diligent with your setup but I want to see if you can hit it 20 yards farther than you're used to like really give it some speed today